getting there. I'm okay. getting there now. Hold still. Okay, but this, you you're bringing stuff. tea, but it's worth it. Oh, Ooh, man, this stuff is getting there. Ooh, man, yeah. I can feel it working. Ooh, I like that. What's oh, man, it's working, brother. yeah, let it work. Ooh, I'm making it straight. I'm making it straight. Oh, You're going to yeah. love this. Oh. Ooh, the women are going to go nuts on you, sugar baby. Mm -hmm. Man, I want ways for the babies, huh? girls for the girls. Oh, I know that, Junior. Oh, do it right there. Oh, you I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it's it. It's starting to burn a little bit, but I can huh? take it. Can you take it? Mm. Just a little bit more, because it's, it's almost okay. there. But it's getting straight. Okay, okay. Ooh, this stuff is getting straight. Yes, hang don't on stop now. now. Okay. Hang on, hang on now. Right. Hang on now. Let me I get know you. you know what you're doing. Oh, you know I do. Oh. You know I'm best in the business. Oh, just burning just a little huh? bit. Oh, all right, man. we almost there. We almost oh, there. Oh, man. Hold on. I don't know if I can take it anymore now. Hold on. Man. Just a, just a. You better call the fire. This scene demonstrates what blacks are willing to endure to look like the master. They are willing to risk permanent scars and permanent baldness to disassociate themselves from their natural heritage. Innovative individuals like Madam C.J. Walker, who were responsible for influencing the black hair care movement, included George Johnson, who introduced the permanent relaxer among blacks. Now the black woman, like the white woman before her, had a way to chemically straighten her hair. It's a relaxer that you apply to it and it will straighten her hair. Will it straighten it out forever? Not forever, only until there's new growth and then you reapply the product again. I'd like to use your product on my hair. Great, I have some in the car. Sure, go get it. I'll be right back. Really? Fuck a bell. Bob, how are you? Finding yourself. Glad to see you, man. Neighbors miss you. Just back a couple of days. When did you get back from Africa? Just back a couple of days ago, me and the family. Good, good, good. I read about the African movement here in America. Yes, it's just going. And I brought you something. It's an African comb. But it's so different. Can you use it? Well, I got to learn, but... It works. It works. Yes, I can use it. I can make this. I can make that. I know I can. Everybody needs one. Through the efforts of one man, Willie El Moro, the black man was reunited with the comb that could navigate his hair freely. Thus, when the Afro hairstyle became popular as an instrument for expressing his new black pride that radically changed black thinking in the 60s, he had a comb that would allow him to artistically care for it. Willie Mora began at once to commercially produce the African comb, and in a short time, its availability contributed much to the growing popularity of the Afro hairstyle. This reunion of the African-American with the comb of his past represents the first time that black America gave recognition to an African tool for its needs. And they used it. It had taken 400 years for the comb of the African-American to find him in his new home. It was indeed a joyous reunion. America, which viewed the Afro as an expression of black defiance for the American system, or perhaps the first spark of love for himself, which echoed in the words, black is beautiful, did not accept or allow the teaching of this hairstyle by barber schools. Unfortunately, the spark, which never turned into a flame signifying the acceptance of self and the love of self, perish. Students, for the next couple of days is gonna be Students Day. And today we're gonna to do Nancy's hair and we're gonna learn how to do lie relaxer. And tomorrow we're gonna to learn how to do pressing curls with the straightening comb. When are we gonna learn how to do the afro? We don't teach that here. Well, a lot of my friends were, and I think it's something we need to learn. Well, it's it's not on the curriculum, and we're not you're not gonna be tested for it. That's one of the reasons why I'm here to learn. Well, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules here, and it's, you know, it's just something we don't offer here, and we don't even offer that service. Well, I wanna learn, too. 
Well, you're just going to have to learn it on your own. Blacks, unlike white hair care specialists, who tend to promote trends, have had to create totally new processes from scratch, including the cold wave curl, formulated by Willie L. Morrow. But if you had done what I told you in the first place, this hair wouldn't be like that. Marriage offered a permanent solution for the elimination of bad hair. My grandmother from Mississippi, she had a cabin like this. She married a light-skinned man. My mother married a light-skinned man.